I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap your crew. I roll out in the morning light, whip that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve them. Wish you would, I'm Timmy Turner. Turned her to a carnivore, now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all want to ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Wicker here, and for today's video, we are playing solo rank gameplay using Sinestria, going for a heavy crit build. Uh, Claves and Slicks are going to be our core items. And yeah, Sinestria is a really strong jungler right now. Maybe not the greatest in the early game. So in that department, Ryoma, Wonder Woman, they are super strong. Uh, at contesting the first dragon and I got I told you guys already first dragon is just so important I, I every jungle video I tell it to you guys the first dragon gives you basically gold uh, gold in value of two kills and also experience for your whole team so that's uh, really great and mid game it's like five kills late game even more so getting drakes super important that's why Sinestra is actually yeah in the other game she struggles if she gets one or two kills wow she's going to snowball super hard and there are okay my weakness is inting not sure if i should come here uh i just wasted my swan i tried to use yeah that was bad that, oh wow nice flick up nice flick up by him well played and i'm like why did you go for that invade exactly ignis uh, Conqueror rank 18 Ignis going for the solo invade and I die as well shouldn't have followed him and I also grieved I tried to kill Kilgrove jumping uh, to gap close I wasted one dash and didn't manage to kill him I wasn't in the I, I was still not in range no matter what so that was basically do you know the int domino effect? Someone ints and then everyone else is just going to int as well. One gets caught, then the next gets caught, and then so on and so on and so on. That, that happens a lot of times. You are ahead, someone dies, he's inting, then everyone else is going to follow the int. It's the int snowball effect. Feels bad, man. So right now, I'm like in the mood. Yeah, I'm already 0-1. Thank you, Ignis. You are ruining my gameplay. I'm like... Your wave is my wave, and your wave is my wave. I'm going to take your wave, because you just entered me. Not right now, but I will just take his wave later on, because I'm a toxic uh, solo queue jungler. That's what solo queue junglers do. They just take the mid wave, being toxic. I mean, usually I try to share the wave. Don't get me wrong, I try to share the wave. But this game, I'm already kind of... I'm like... Hey Ignis, you just to me. Maybe let me get your let me get your wave so we're even. But of course I will share the wave. I'm a good jungler. I'm not I'm not a toxic jungler. I, I wouldn't take the wave on my own. Never, 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 never. Never ever. I'm just playing it safe right now because you guys know Sinestra early game pretty bad. So trying to play it a little bit more safe. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, let's jump in. I think we can kill them all. We still have our ultimate as well. And S2 splash, Lubo's getting the kill. It's fine. We can take the red buff here. In the melee form, you're getting lifesteal. And in your range form, you are taking damage using your auto attacks. We just used... Oh, I should have put that into the intro. That's actually sick. Look at our lifesteal. Easy. That's what I mean. The ultimate... I already made a Sinestra guide, you guys should know the kit. With the ultimate you are exchanging life with your opponent. So if your opponent is full life, the amount of your HP and the opponent HP is getting uh, divided by two. The sum of both is divided by two and then shared between each other. So if you're low HP and the opponent is high HP, you are getting a lot of HP back. 
so try to use it when the opponent is low also you can use the ultimate uh, to stun or cancel abilities from the opponent since the ultimate stuns the opponent which is also really nice use us to range jump onto him and no he dies anyways not bad so my teammates are actually playing really well right now also what you can do another combo trick is when you're stacking up with your range as two form you see the blood is stacking up you can see right here the blood is going to stack up and then you can use the s2 to shoot the blood stacks and the co combo that you can use is you shoot your blood stacks while using your s1 so you heal and do damage at the same time oh boy that's nice and you also have another passive which is blood ritual so when you are about to die you can use it to explode after two, sec uh, two seconds i think but if you don't have seven stacks you will just die and the opponent is getting the kill but you're still going to do damage but if you have seven stacks you are going to revive while using your blood ritual so that's really nice and every kill and assist is giving you stacks so try to get killed seven stacks to get your passive up so you can activate it to survive in team fights so you have your ultimate which is a backup to give you hp back again and you also have your passive which is like the super emergency backup that you can use in a team fight and if the opponent are getting cc'd and you can use your act uh, you can use your passive while they are getting cc'd and they take the passive damage it's a huge nuke basically so if you have Lorian, Lorian Sinestra combo oh that one is nasty but in this team comp we don't really have too much cc so it will be hard to pull off the blood ritual in a team fight since it takes a lot of time to charge your nuke your passive so let's take red buff right now then the small camp then mini dragon and then getting the bot tower but my teammates are already winning so nice actually nice good job boys at the same time a fight is happening at the top side so i will try to help my teammates hopefully i can help them one versus two one versus two oh he is here see that's what i mean i shoot the blood stacks and dash at the same time he takes a lot of damage i'm healing then i'm in melee form i'm going to life see super easy and if i'm low left i can use my ultimate to exchange life so in a one versus one sinestra is very hard to kill also another uh, tip is you can trap with sinestra using the s1 if you use the s1 and don't uh, move your cursor you will stay invincible for the whole game basically unless until you move again so you can use your s1 right here for example and then just okay he's going to die anyways um in the jungle in the middle of the jungle you can use this one and stay hidden invincible and the moment someone comes you come out and just kill them so, so that's another way for you to trap on sinestra okay get that kill and i think we will get another kill let's go so she's definitely super strong But early game, not that great. Be, play careful, try not to die like me. Farm up, uh, go for secure kills. Don't go for uh, ganks where you know that the opponent have a strong comp, strong early comp. Uh, it's not going to go, uh, it's not going to work out. Let's take the rip of nice, Kefni. She's not going to steal it. Good girl, good girl. Here we go. We good. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what was that? We could go for Slay, but the others are fighting. So let's see if we can join and kill the, all the others. Nice, doing a lot of damage. Please stun her. Ah, she doesn't get stunned, so we don't get the kill. Well, we could go for Slayer right now, but do we want to go for Slayer to finish the game quickly? It's just a ranked game. You guys know me. Ranked game means 
we don't have to rush Slayer to finish the game quickly. If this was solo mode, I would immediately go for Slayer right now, trying to finish the game as quickly as possible. No Clown Fiesta, clean macro, no comeback potential for the opponents. Remember, Clown Fiesta, solo mode, comeback potential, don't do that. Don't get cocky in solo mode because the amount of times games, if you just die one time, snowball effect, another one dies, another one dies, they take Slayer, come back, and then you lose, and then you cry because you lose minus 20, even though you could have won plus 10. Yep, I'm speaking of experience when people get too cocky and throw the game. Yikes, so, I mean, it's a, it's a normal rank game right here, so I don't care if we lose or win, and... I guess we can go for Slayer right now, since we have two core items, our two uh, crit core items. And we also have seven stacks on Blood Ritual, so let's see if we can pull it off doing a huge nuke. We get another, the game is going to end soon, the game is going to end soon. We got two kills, we got three kills, Richter is going to spawn soon, Kirov is split pushing, we can just go take the tower right here. Okay boys. Uh, we could finish here probably. Oh, yeah, Kali's clearing the wave with her ultimate. Kali is clearing the wave with her ultimate. I can kill her. Unfortunate. I guess push mid. And Lubu won against Kickroff. Nice. This Lubu is playing well so far. Really well. I like what I see. I'm just focusing on the tower. I use my ultimate to change. And we're pretty low life. Maybe I just use my blood ritual to revive again. And let's see. Oh my god, that's a close one. Uh, Timmy used the ultimate anyway, so we would have survived. We are kind of low life, so let's lifesteal on the red buff and get the red buff as well. Okay, let's draw. We have Fenrir now. Oh boy, we strong here. And get the kill. Kill secure, obviously. Look at our damage. Boom. Nice, Timmy. You got that kill. Good job. Good job, Timmy. I see you. I see you, Timmy. Life stealing. We have the ultimate as well. It's it's game over. It's pretty much game over. Oh, hi, T. He's focusing on the Nexus. We're jumping and the game is over. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this solo rank gameplay of us playing Sinestra. She is definitely... Uh, a really strong jungler, you just need to know how to use the abilities correctly and how to play safe. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, I see you next time, have an awesome day, bye bye!